Hello everyone. I know that I didn't go through any of the assembly of my TKO cell into the Dodge Neon, but I, uh, I did want to show everyone the finished product here. Um, I have been running this for two days now. I don't have any uh, hard numbers yet, but they will uh, I'll have those shortly. I just want to show everyone what I did. The uh, cell is back here behind the engine. It's uh, very cramped in a neon engine compartment. As you can see, there isn't room for anything anywhere in here. was the original reason why I made the cell so small and made it fully saturated so that I could uh, separate the parts of the cell so that we can get more into a small spot. Right here, this is my bubbler and my water reservoir. It's made out of 3 inch ABS. It has an inlet and an outlet to drop down to the uh, to the cell there. On the side I have my safety device that's uh, just full, it's uh, just cellophane. There, so if I do have a uh, flashback, it'll blow right there. From here, I go over to a second bubbler, and it is just crammed down in there. It's made out of an uh, inch and a half ABS with uh, some PVC fittings on top. Again, I've got the flashback protector on the top. I put a double, double bubbler in here because I wanted to make sure that the uh, hydrogen was, uh, was dry, that it didn't have any uh, water vapor going in through the, through the tube into the engine. From there, right here on the side, I've got a clear 3H tube that comes out comes into the uh, air cleaner box and I've got it going right into the top of this this filter. For my electrical got a 30 amp relay a 30 amp inline fuse what I did on this I hooked the relay into my fuel pump relay now when the car is turned on when the ignition is turned on this post of the relay is hot. But this post where it's hooked where the uh, electrical is hooked to doesn't actually isn't actually hot until the engine is actually running. So this is another safety precaution I've taken. And this this wire actually runs through and into the engine compartment or actually the uh, cab a switch that I have that's a it's an override switch so that's those are my electrics uh, and the two one lead goes to uh, ground the other one goes right into the generator I don't know if there you can see it down there All my ends are uh, soldered to, make a, to get a better connection. 
Well, that's my setup in my Dodge Neon. If you have any questions for me, please leave comments. And I will post my my increased miles per gallon when I get those numbers. Oh, and also I didn't I didn't say, but I I am running a uh, I don't think you can even see it an O2 extender on the oxygen sensor. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Thank <laughs> you.